Welcome to Engineering Fanatics. Today we are going to discuss the topic leveling in surveying. What is leveling in surveying? Leveling is a branch of surveying that deals with the measurement of vertical distance of a point or a position with respect to a known surface. So here we are locating a particular point in terms of its vertical distance from a surface of known reference. So if I have an surface AB or if we have an already known level that is AB, I need to locate the point A. So we measure the vertical distance of that particular A from the line AB. And this is the process of leveling that is performed in survey. So the two important features of leveling is understanding the known surface on earth and second is the distance measurement, the vertical distance measurement. So here the vertical distance of a particular point is what we call as elevation and the known surface is what we call as the datum. Right. So AB is the datum and we need to locate the particular height of a particular object say let it be h so we need to find out what is the height of that particular object so for that we use a leveling method where the height h is determined with respect to the datum ab or we already measure a height say h1 and at that height we locate an object so leveling method can be used for two objectives Hence, the objective of leveling is to locate the vertical position of a point with respect to a datum or to establish a point at a given location with respect to a datum or an assumed datum. So datum can be either a standardized datum of a particular country or a region or we can look into an assumed datum that is a temporary datum for, for a particular project. So locating the vertical position of a point with respect to a datum is mainly used for works that need to be designed, that needs to be designed. And the second objective is mainly used for setting out in engineering works. Important definitions involved in leveling. So before I start telling about the important definitions involved in leveling, you need to understand one thing that earth is considered to have a spheroidal surface right so that is being shown here we have an earth spheroidal surface and any surface that is parallel to the spheroidal surface is called as a level surface any line that is lying over the spheroidal sorry the level surface is what we call as the level line so when i explain the definitions one by one Level surface, a surface that is parallel to the spheroidal surface of the earth is what we call as a level surface. Now, a common example of a level surface is the surface of a still water. It can be considered as a level surface. So, it is a common objective question asked in most of the uh, question uh, multiple choice questions regarding civil engineering exams the surface of a still water is considered to be the level surface the level surface will be given as one of the options so now second is a horizontal plane a horizontal plane is a plane that is passing through a point that is tangential to the horizontal surface so a plane that is tangential to the level surface is what we call as horizontal plane. So the level surface and horizontal plane has to be imagined in your mind because it is a 3D picture that is evolved. So you have the 3D sphere of level surface and a line that is tangential to the level surface is what we call as a horizontal plane. Now next is uh, next important term is very easy to imagine. Now, what is a level line? A level line is a line that's lying on the level surface. So that is shown in the right hand side figure. So a level line is there that lies on a level surface. Now, a line that is tangential to the level line is what we call as a horizontal line. 
right now one of the importance of level line is that when you consider any point on the level line all line or all points will be perpendicular to the plumb bob you know plumb bob when you when you place uh, when you hang a plumb bob any on any point on the level line or any particular point it shows a perpendicular it, it takes the direction of gravity perpendicular so here in case of level line all the points will take a path perpendicular to the level line right so next term is defined based on that definition that a line that is perpendicular to the level line at a point is what we call as a vertical line so generally vertical line is defined as the plumb bob line at a particular point so if you locate a plumb bob line at any point on the level line it will give you the vertical line so i hope you understood the terms important terms that is the level surface what level surface is a surface parallel to the spiroidal surface a line lying on level surface is the level line a plane that is tangential to level surface is horizontal plane a line that is perpendicular to the level line is called as a sorry a line which is tan uh, tangential to the level line is what we call as a horizontal line now a line perpendicular to the level line is what we call as vertical line a vertical line is generally taking a path that is shown by the plumb bob it can be also asked as a multiple choice question now i repeatedly defined about datum in from the first uh, session of the videos that you measure the height of a particular point with respect to a datum now what is a datum datum is a reference surface that has to be kept in your mind the datum is a reference surface it is not a reference point or it is not a reference line it is a reference surface to which any point is referred right you need to refer a particular point with respect to some standard basis so that standard basis is datum datum is a reference surface now around the world the datum is generally considered as the mean sea level so this is a complete standardization followed all over the world so mean sea level is considered as the datum hence elevations are measured this much above or below the sea level so you have the mean sea level of that particular area you need to locate the point a and locate the point b you came to know that point a is above the mean sea level and point b is below the sea level so you take the leveling instrument and you start measuring the height of particular a here the point a is h distance above the mean sea level and the point b is h dash below the mean sea level now what is mean sea level now average height to see for all stages of tides so when you, how do you find out the mean sea level so as the height to see for all possible tides so you have on on one particular time it shows a mean low tide it shows a high tide so the tide level varies so what we do is we take the average of hourly tides height height of tide in hourly basis and this record is calculated for around 19 years a record of 19 years is being studied and average of all these tide levels are taken and this forms the mean sea level right now next is benchmark now benchmark is a permanent point of reference whose elevation with respect to a datum is known i already explained what is datum datum is a reference surface while benchmark is a permanent point of reference or a reference point now if i have a datum as shown in the figure and i have the ground level so the datum is below the ground level and i have an object so the height of this object is h distance from the datum right so we got a particular point on the earth surface or on the ground level whose elevation is already known so such a point is what we call as a benchmark now this benchmark 
uh, has a greater importance when we actually start a survey. So when you start a survey, when you already have a particular point whose reference or whose height with respect to the datum is known, you can proceed other uh, surveying or other leveling of other points with respect to this particular point. So this is where it is really marked as benchmark. Right. So benchmark is represented as BM. So if I have an, another object say red shown in the red, its height has to be determined. Right. H1. Its height has to be determined. So in order to uh, determine the actual height of the building. H1 is the height of that particular building with respect to data. Right. In order to know what is that height of the building, that is real height of the building, as shown in the arrow, you need to know a particular point of reference. You need to know a uh, already known point. So this is the importance of benchmark. What is more uh, important what uh, featured about benchmark and how the calculations are proceeded, I'll show in an explained video. But here, um, for the time being, what you have to understand is that datum is a reference surface, benchmark is a reference point. Benchmark is referred with respect to the datum, right? And datum is a standardized level or a standardized surface. Hope this video was informative and if you like this video, please subscribe and share to your civil engineering friends. Now, learn with ease with engineering fanatics. Thank you.